It's Halloween, and for some of you, that may mean time for costumes, pumpkins, and candy. But for us, it means bringing back one of our all-time most popular guests, Mahendra Sharma. Mahendra, thanks for being back with us. Thank you. It is my honor on this uh, special occasions. Now, Mahendra, last time we had you on was for our summer special in June, and gold has changed quite a bit since then. Does it get better from here? What do you see uh, in the stars and planets? I would love to say that uh, I will. I would love to make uh, everyone happy, especially gold investors. But it's still, um, I don't want to um, uh, bring the too much optimism. Uh, at this stage, I feel that uh, still the gold will going to struggle till the next year May. Uh, gold investors, uh, if uh, if they are holding the cash, they should keep holding the cash. Uh, the two two currencies against the two currencies people can buy gold on the weakness a euro and the swiss franc because i see both these currencies dropping around 20% which is a huge and uh, and uh, if they invest in terms of the euro and in terms of the swiss franc then definitely they will going to gain value but in terms of the dollar uh, i don't see gold gaining value then uh, especially i recommend um, those who trade with the leverage they shouldn't be uh, trading with the leverage uh, when the right time will come in the gold i will let you know but at this stage until the early next year stay away a little bit from the gold and the silver investment now mahendra one of your predictions which did come true was your call for the us dollar bear market to end and we all know it has rallied substantially in fact the dollar climb since july is the longest ascent in more than 40 years uh, do you still see more good things in store for the us dollar Yes, uh, the U.S. dollar will keep moving higher and higher. That's what I recommended at the end of last year and early this year on your interview as well. I see a great rally coming in USD for not for only for the 2015 onward, but uh, uh, 2016, 17, 18 USD will constantly or keep rallying higher and higher and higher. But very interesting point I would like to make here because a lot of uh, emerging market currencies, uh, they lost the huge value during last uh, last year, but I see in the coming time emerging market currencies uh, like a rupee, real, peso, ruble, uh, and uh, the and rand. They they will gain value. They will gain value against uh, all other currencies, and they will going to trade very stable. Uh, against the U.S. dollar. Now, Mahendra, we saw most of your predictions pan out up until August and September. We know you also had a call for a $1,000 palladium by year-end. Is there something that changed specifically in August and September? Yes, uh, because of the what I predicted in the month of September, and I said that very uncertain time uh, for the stock market coming uh, uh, in the uh, in the month of October, and I said that uh, from the market here, uh, uh, topping out and going down at least uh, uh, five to six, seven percent. But uh, but the important part was there that the base metals uh, getting affected. I said also. Any specifically, Mahendra? Uh, yes, I, I think in 2014, if you see that most of the base metals they have traded horribly, uh, especially nickel, lead. Uh, if you see iron on and all these, even the copper, uh, and I see all these metals uh, recovering at least at least fifty percent value in the two thousand fifteen. Uh, palladium is uh, one of my favorite uh, for the longer term. Short term, it had a correction, and uh, it is a great buying opportunity coming the, in the month of November, uh, second week of November on, where the, the palladium will going to start rallying again. And uh, by end of this year, don't put too much money in the all other uh, uh, lead and uh, nickel and those who have corrected. They should be start putting money in the second week of January. Now, do you have a trading range for gold? I think still I hold my uh, the upper side target 1250. It will be very difficult for gold to cross the 1250. Uh, or 1283. I don't see gold going above these levels. So this is in the next six months? Uh, next, at least uh, three months, I, I, I can say. And uh, downside, uh, if it breaks, uh, um, I recommend it two, three weeks, uh, three weeks back buying gold around the 1180, 1190. And uh, if that 1190 is taken out, then my extra chart indicating, I don't want to scare anyone, but uh, hold on cash because it may, it, it can, it can go to the thousand dollar. Thanks so much, Mahendra. And before I let you go, you know it's tradition that I have to end by asking you which astrological signs will have some luck. 
definitely virgo chart looks very interesting at this stage and uh, i am telling you that uh, the people will uh, prosperous uh, the cancer also uh, and uh, uh, taurus also looks uh, uh fantastic year after diwali mahendra i just love how you always tell me virgo has luck i i'm starting to think you're just trying to make me happy no i'm i'm virgo too so i, so I would like to remain in the fo- focus if i want to guide the, ra- the right path uh, my followers and members all right mahendra thank you so much we'll see you soon and to all our viewers watching i encourage you to register and come on down and join the kiko news team in the cayman islands it's not a bad gig the casey will be there peter schiff will be there adrian day and just a great lineup of industry experts come and join us november 16th to the 20th you can register at the link below in the meantime have a very happy halloween